Hi, this is Alexis from Pear Tree Education. I'm one of the writers on inquiryintoeducation.com. This is a new series of children's picture book reviews I'm bringing out for parents, teachers, and educators. The book I'm reviewing today is 10,000 Dresses by Marcus Ewart, published in 2008 by Seven Stories Press. 10,000 Dresses is an excellent resource to use for critical inquiry into issues around gender, such as gender roles, gender stereotypes, as well as transgender. This uh, book is a story about a child named Bailey, who's biologically a boy, but identifies more as a girl. Bailey's parents don't support her in her interest in dresses, and this weighs on Bailey throughout the book. Educationally, I think the book challenges students on their understanding of what it means to be a boy or a girl, and how the character in this book doesn't necessarily fit into their understanding of being a boy or a girl. It also helps children to realize that gender roles and gender stereotypes are social constructions. The illustrations by Rex Ray are beautifully done, and they're in a collage style, and they're done in a way which requires the reader to read both the image and the text simultaneously. It's a true picture book in this sense. I would give this book a 4 out of 5. I think it's an awesome book because it requires students to think critically about their current beliefs around gender. If nothing else, the reader will come away from this with a more open perspective of how one can play out gender identities or question why they understand certain things about gender that are not biologically inherent. For example, there's nothing biologically determined about girls wanting to wear dresses or boys liking blue. These are only social constructions that we've come to accept and it's important for children to recognize this. However, I would add that this is not a book I would simply leave out in my class library for students to read independently. The topic matter of transgender children is quite heavy, and I think it would be most educational or useful if a teacher facilitated some sort of meaningful discussion or at least introduced the idea around the book first. If you're looking for a book that touches on issues of gender but are looking for something that a child can read more independently, I would recommend Piggy Book by Anthony Brown, published in 1989, or The Only Boy in Ballet Class by Denise Gruska, published in 2007. Both books are better suited for younger readers as they have a much more simplistic take on gender roles and stereotypes. Uh, if you think you're interested in using the book 10,000 Dresses in your class or would like some more information about this, but are perhaps at a loss of some meaningful activities to do with it or how to even introduce the book, I'll be doing a teacher guide video shortly as a follow-up to this. And again, this is Alexis from www.inquiryintoeducation.com. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.